Taylor, when we first met, I never thought this day would come. But now I could never imagine myself standing up here with anybody else to spend the rest of my life with. <sighs> I knew from the first time you left town, and we spent every night on the, <laughs> on the phone for hours just talking about our days, <sighs> that you were the one for me. It was very early into our relationship, but it was our, I was already missing our time together. As soon as you came back, we were back to spending each and every day together. Our first big test in our relationship came when you moved to Grants Pass for work, and I honestly believe that brought us closer. Each weekend I would drive up to see you, or you would come home, but it was mostly me coming up to see you. The distance only made me realize that I wanted nothing but this relationship to last. Nathan, I remember the first time my mom called me and asked me if I was in love with you. Before I could answer, I broke into tears because the answer was so incredibly obvious. I never understood how people could just say, when you know, you know, but I knew with you. We may have passed each other by in school, but God placed you into my life at the exact moment we needed each other the most. We have folded into each other's lives so naturally, so easily that I can't imagine what life was like without you by my side. You have loved me without reservations. You have made me feel so safe and supported. You've accepted me in the TV shows you swore you would never watch, <laughs> but you ended up binging them with me anyways. <laughs> you have shown me what true love is and trust. We have grown through so many seasons of life in such a short time already, and we have so many more to love each other through. I still remember the first time I got introduced to your family. You were so nervous for me that you ran me through practice questions. And thankfully we did that because I probably would not have survived the Shanley interrogation. We have all these amazing memories, like our Disney trips or our weekend trips around Oregon. My favorite memory is our second trip to Disney when you finally realized that I could not take the pictures that you wanted. <laughs> Thankfully, we have Brandon for that. <laughs> and he can take all the candid photos that you need. And thankfully, we can avoid a Toontown disaster. <sighs> I vow to always be there to support you in anything you do. Be there to be the shoulder for you to lean on. I've seen you at your worst twice now and literally been there to pick you up and carry you around. I promise to be there to kill any spider or bug that crosses your path. And I do promise to get better at taking pictures or at least put the effort into getting better. I promise to love you unconditionally throughout the good and bad times in our life together. You've been the greatest blessing in my life. And I will always tell you that. But most importantly, I promise to love you forever and always. I promise to always begin and end our days by saying I love you. I promise to respect you and always make time for you. I promise to never keep score. I promise to support you in all that you choose to do. I promise I will never stop taking adventures. 
and I promise to love and cherish you not only as my husband, but only but also as my equal. You are the calm to my storm, and together we are no longer two but one. Thank you for always filling up my water before bed, even when you're already <laughs> laying down, <laughs> for putting up with my type A spreadsheets and checklists and photo lists, <laughs> for making me laugh every day, for lifting me up when I'm down, literally, for taking care of me um, when I'm sick, for loving me fiercely and unconditionally, and above all, thank you for being the most wonderful man that you are today, the man that I'm so blessed and proud to call my husband and best friend. I am yours, and I will love you forever and always. Friends and family, it is our pleasure to introduce to you a brand new Mr. and Mrs. Porter. Nathan, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. being here to celebrate the love that these two amazing people share. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Taylor's matron of honor, Kira. I've been blessed with being her friend for almost 20 years, but we don't have to talk about how old we're getting. <laughs> Most of those years were spent running our moms ragged, spending way too much time on hold with Radio Disney, racking up Kelly and Jason's phone bill while trying to win the sweet life of Zach and Cody sweepstakes and swearing up and down that we'd never marry anyone from Crescent City. Yet here we both are. We love you, Nathan and Josiah. <laughs> As I sat down to, read, to write this speech, I thought of all Taylor's amazing qualities to, that make her the person she is. Let's just say the list is long and we'd be here all night. She's an exceptional human who pours her heart into the people that she loves, her passions, and her work. She goes above and beyond time and time and again and is the most selfless person I know. No words can actually describe what her and our friendship means to me. She deserves the fairy tale love story, and fortunately, she found it in Nathan. Um, it's so evident that he loves her so unconditionally. I love being around them and seeing the way he looks at her with total heart eyes. As someone who's been on the receiving end of Taylor's love for years, I know a few things for sure. When you experience success, she will be there front row as your biggest cheerleader. When you experience loss, she will be there to comfort you with compassion and empathy. And when you want adventure, you better buckle up because you know she has a by the hour, 10 day vacation itinerary ready for the next day. I'm so honored to be a part of your day and I wish you nothing short than a lifetime of love, laughter, and endless adventure. Cheers to the Porters. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Brandon. Um, if you don't know me, you're missing out because, you know. Um, I am the best man and Taylor's brother. Um, when I first met you, I knew you and I would get along just fine. You were shy and quiet, and I just knew the Shanley family way would change that. Watching you come out of your shell has been one of the best things to watch. You have been nothing but a joy and a great addition to this family. Seeing the way you treat my family, and most importantly, my sister, is amazing. 
You are the most caring and loving person to be around, and I'm so, so grateful that you and my sister have found each other. You know, it's funny. Um, all my life, I always said I wanted a brother, uh, not thinking I'd ever get one, but here you are sitting in front of me, and you're the best brother-in-law anyone could ever ask for. Thank you for being you. I love you both so much, and congratulations on this new part of your lives. Maybe we focus on the future No use in living in the past Try to remember that the bad times never last Yeah, and every day one step One step at a time We're gonna make it We're gonna make it all right If we stick together we'll be fine Cause if we just smile We can forget our life, our troubles for a while we can just live inside this moment You and I get through the darkness Now and we'll find the light If we just smile If we just, if we just If we just smile when the sky is falling Smile when the love comes calling We can take tomorrow and it's If we just smile we can forget all of our troubles for a while We can just live inside this moment You and I get through the darkness now And we'll find the light If we just smile If we just, if we just If we just smile Yeah, if we just smile Smile. Yeah, if we just smile.